Hello everybody, Corolla Joyce here. I hope you're having a good day, a good week. Today I'd like to do a intuitive spread. And this is a spread that I often use for myself. I'm going to be using the Empath Tarot. These are the 49 Minor Arcana cards composed of seven suits, one suit for each chakra, seven cards per chakra. The first card is the mind card, which also is the will of the body. Second card is the body card. Third is the world or the environment. Then we have three cards that make an upside down triangle that make up the action cards. And in the center is the universe card. The main focal point here is the triangle of mind, body, and world. So the universe card, everything's connected to this six of oracles. Six is the chakra of higher purpose, the God's eye chakra, and the oracles represent infinite knowledge the Akashic Records. So this card represents our connection to our higher purpose. We have new access via the galactic alignment. Next we are going to choose the mind card or the will and we have two of crosses. Two is the second chakra and crosses also represents the second chakra so in this case it's a power card and our will or our mind is faced with the power card of facing opposition to another something is opposing your will or your intention so the question to ask yourself is who is this voice of opposition is it internal or is it external? And it's something to be mindful of. Then we have the card that represents our body, our support, our structure. The Five of Crosses. This stands for the speaking out to others at a level of five in a way that protects our own health and our own needs. The cross chakra is our own needs and protecting ourselves. So speak out in self-advocacy for your own needs, for your own self. Now we have our world card, the environment card. Four of Frida's, the Frida suit is the suit of speaking and the heart level is the level four. So it tells us that you or someone needs to speak to the world with unconditional love. And if you are doing that, be, be aware of that and be happy about it. Speak to the world through unconditional love. How is the world speaking unconditional love to you? Can you see any ways that you're blessed? Can you interpret that as the world speaking unconditional love to you? So now we're going to focus on the three action cards. These help tell our mind or our will how to better our body. That would be this card on the left. This card is the Six of Freitas. This tells us how we can do something with our mind or our will to help support our body become better or stronger or happier. So the Six of Freitas has to do with speaking the higher purpose. Frida is the fifth chakra. Make sure that the self-talk you do is true 
useful and kind and make sure the words you say to other people are also true, useful, and kind because the words you say to other people reverberates in every cell of your body. So we all want to make sure that what we say is kind. The second hint card is how the mind or the will can affect our world for the better. Five of Oracles. Five is the fifth level of the speaking chakra, and Oracles stands for our connection to infinite intelligence. So how can we speak that which we channel from the infinite intelligence? Why don't we pick something good to share? So what are your visions, your intuitive visions that come down from your spiritual understandings? How can you share that with the world? What is the best way to share that with the world? And our final card is the hint, the helpful hint card that gives us a hint as to how our world and our body affect one another. These are the behind the scenes forces and we have the three of mothers. Mothers is the unconditional love chakra and the three stands for the emotional attachments. So how do these emotional attachments affect our unconditional love? The relationships that we have, our closest ones, are filled with emotional attachments. And how do these affect our relationships? Are there any emotional attachments that we should be mindful of and let go of or forgive others for? Everyone has these attachments. It's part of being alive, part of being a human being. And even the highest level human beings of enlightenment have these attachments. It's called life. And part of why we're here is to feel these attachments so so maybe think of how you could forgive someone for having that kind of attachment thank you for being with me today for this reading and I hope you've enjoyed watching me get to know my own deck it's a brand new deck and I'm experimenting with some different layouts so I hope you'll check out my Kickstarter campaigns which I will be using to promote and sell this deck and improve the products that go along with it like posters and cards. So check out the Empath Tarot on Kickstarter. Thanks everybody. Peace. <laughs>